to Paradise TV. I'm Carly Wegner. And I'm Stephanie Summers, and we're enjoying the beautiful view out here on Cape Harbor. This is a true yachting community. You can call it a boater's paradise, complete with shops and restaurants. In fact, the people who live here say it's like living on vacation year-round. Oh, I, could, I could use that. Yeah. And we're going to be touring Cape Harbor throughout the show, so what are we waiting for? Let's go ahead and get it started. In tonight's show, we are keeping you cool in paradise. Frosty treats, wet and wild fun, a chillin' cocktail, and paddling in paradise. All right, what would be cooler than a giant block of ice? Well, it's not exactly for chilling, it's for carving. Ah. And I got to try it, turning frozen water into art. Take a look. You got her, bud. <clears throat> Weighing a whopping 300 pounds, this is not your average cube in a cup. Probably all together with the dolly, about 450 or so. The block is 300. It takes about three to five days to freeze. This particular block's called a Kleinsville block, specifically designed for carvers. Ice carvers, that is, and Will Wilson, he's been turning water into art for over 30 cool years. Ice is just part of the culinary art, part of it. When I first started, I would get, I couldn't afford to buy a block of ice, so I'd take five gallon pickle buckets and then start doing little things like hurricane lamps or little baskets that you can put fruit and stuff in, just little, little things. But today's challenge, it's anything but little. I can do this in about 40 minutes. In a 70 degree room, it melts about one inch every three hours. Outside, you're at the mercy of mother nature. <laughs> He's not our friend, is he? Uh, she. she. <laughs> it helps to have Lady Luck on your side. <laughs> My name is not Lady Luck, but I was there by Will's side, chiseling, turning, and sawing. I mentally signed the liability waiver, but I couldn't resist to give it a shot. You want to start the chainsaw running before you touch it. It almost feels kind of soft when you're cutting into it. Time ticked down, the ice was melting, and the sun had us skating on thin ice. What'll happen is, even in cold weather, it can be below freezing outside, but the sun reflected back into the ice, and even though it was below freezing, all the ice splintered, and it wasn't a good day. Water is never too far when you're in Florida, but all this had me thinking, what happens if you really mess up? Sometimes you can repair it, and other times you start over. That's agony of defeat. So I left it to the pro, sculpting perfect paradise-like memories for the people of Southwest Florida. We could call her paradise. I agree. All right, Stephanie with the chainsaw. I like it. You got all your fingers still? I do. Thankfully, I have all my toes, too, because I didn't exactly have ice sculpting shoes on. Oh, so we'll need to get you some of those. I think I did them justice. All right, well, now we're going to head down to Naples for a frozen treat, some gelato. And we stopped in a family-owned shop that specializes in locally produced artisan gelato. Boston transplants Marco and Tecla Filardo brought the Italian treat to downtown Naples in the form of Freddo's. Freddo's has more than 20 flavors on hand every day, and both tradition and Florida inspire the taste. The expected hazelnut, amaretto, and chocolate gelatos are side by side with unexpected tropical flavors including pineapple, coconut, and banana. When people were coming in to order, we actually would tell people that we were out of vanilla and chocolate. So we kind of tricked them into trying something else, uh, and it worked. And now all of our fake flavors actually become very popular. Gelato has a lower fat content than ice cream, and it's served at a warmer temperature, so fans say the flavors come out better. Another surefire way to beat the heat is margaritas. Oh, yeah. Jimmy Buffett knew what he was talking about. Paradise TV hit up a local spot where they serve up one of Southwest Florida's favorite margaritas. Bubba's Roadhouse and Saloon's signature Bubba Rita took home the fan favorite award in the news press's annual Margarita Madness Contest. The monstrous 46 ounce Bubba Rita is enough for a small, very thirsty army. A hefty kick of Jose Cuervo tequila and a bright balance of lime are key to this cocktail's popularity. It's the same recipe we've had for the last 27 years. Uh, it's, a, it's very consistent. People know what to expect. They come in, enjoy it, and of course it's the size. 
The folks at Bubba's shared their secrets for a successful margarita with us. For the complete recipe, just log on to our website, fox4now.com slash paradise. All right, tonight we're helping you keep cool as we celebrate summer here in paradise. And sometimes you just have to go indoors to help catch your cool. Well, how about going inside for some fun for some glow-in-the-dark miniature golf? Glow golf at the Gulf Coast Town Center lets putt-putt fans tee up in the dark and try to make par on highlighted holes. Whether you're looking for family fun or a cool date night, glow golf is a real shot in the dark. It's pretty fun. I haven't been to something like this indoors for putt-putt golf. It's pretty cool. It makes it interesting, the, uh, the uh, strobe lights and the neon lights, it makes it interesting. Okay, now it's time for some trivia. This one is a two-parter. When and where was the very first miniature golf course created? Hmm, give it some thought. We'll give you the answer a little bit later in the show. Coming up on Paradise TV. Who needs a boat? This high energy water adventure is really cool. And next, we're cooking up a cool treat with an award winning chef. But first, here are some of your pictures in Paradise.